Morning everybody. Chicago Boy Cowboy here. Saturday I was just uh, <clears throat> hanging out in the house working on some stuff. Uh, working on some attaching some bags to the back of the big dummy. Decided that uh, well, let me tell you why I decided this. I was watching a video the other day about bike packing in um, Oregon on this famous trail. I forget the name of it but every, a lot of people ride it. And I was watching this video of these people going down this trail and they just had like mountain bikes with a bunch of bags on them. And I'm thinking, man, it's a nice wide trail, how it starts out like a fire road. And they're, they're cruising down there, seeing all these, you know, beautiful things, camping out in beautiful spots. And then they get to this one part in the trail where it narrows. It's about, you know, just big enough, just wide enough to roll your, your bike through there. And that was for a long stretch. And when I was watching, I thought, well, what if you were there and you had that damn trailer you want to keep wanting to build? What's going to happen when you get there with that trailer? You're going to have to, you know, ride the bike to one end, drop it off, come back, unpack everything in the trailer, tote it down. And who knows, you know, how far it would go, depending on what trail you're on. And then you're going to have to try to get this trailer through here where there's really no room to get it through. And I started thinking, maybe I'm doing things the wrong way. Maybe I should plan on less. Try to work with less like the bike packers do. Try to work with less, but not to the point where I won't be comfortable or happy. I mean, some of, some of them, really, the bike packers go to extremes. I mean, they're, they're, they got a bivy bag and a sleeping bag and a tarp. And if you're cool with that, Hey, more power to you. I would not, I don't like being confined in a little bivy sack with everything close to my face. I'm just, I'm not into it. I don't like that. But anyway, I started thinking, you know, instead of building this trailer, having this big wooden box up here on the dummy rack, you know, which every time you go above this dummy rack with something, it makes the bike kind of wanky where it wants to rock back and forth. Um, once you start rolling, it's pretty stable, but sometimes it can get a bit wanky too. You got to put more weight towards the bottom first. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm taking some of these Alice packs I have. I want to have one with all my cook stuff in it and one for food. Forget the coolers. I'll have to learn to eat in a different way. Um, I'll just have to, to learn. You know, I'll just have to learn what I can and what I can't have. I mean, doesn't mean I can never have a steak again, no. It just means that, you know, I won't be able to have it as much as I would like. You know, I won't be able to carry as much cold food as I would like, so I'll just have to come up with alternatives. I'll have to learn to eat in a different way, which is fine. I, I'm, I love learning all about stuff like that. Um, but today, what I really wanted to show you was, um, well, trying to attach this Alice pack to the big dummy deck, um, I was thinking of many different options, but I want something that's simple that can be repaired in the field. Anything that can be repaired in the field with very minimal equipment is something I like because I'm not going to have drills and, 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 you know, saws and all that kind of stuff with me. I won't, I won't carry all that. So the typical way that we attach things is clips plastic clips like this okay and these are okay for some applications but the problem with these is it's plastic it gets hot it gets cold it gets beat on by the sun and eventually it wears out and these these just they break eventually I mean these these little clips right here usually last a, a fair amount of time but when they break they're usually sewn like this onto the bag and then you, you got to undo that stitching, get a new one, and, it, and you got to have it stitched or stitch it yourself. And that sh it just gets kind of like a pain in the ass. The other way we do things is with clips like this, you know, but everything's plastic. All this plastic. If they were metal, I'd be all for it. But, but this plastic, I mean, this stuff is just, and, it, and it's so much. I mean, even on the big dummy bags, there's some clips like this. You know, there's a lot of these plastic clips that will eventually wear out. So what I came up with was something very simple. 
and it's it's probably been done before I don't know but it's just a piece of really fat 550 cord it's got the set the seven inner strands in it I buy it at Walmart it's, I think it's made by Ozark Trail but it's it's fatter than most normal cord and what I did was you see that I hope that's not out of focus but you see that little loop right there instead of just tying a knot in the rope like this which would effectively do the same thing you'd still have a loop what I did was I took some good thread and I pushed a needle through it with the thread and then I wound it around 10 times pushed the needle back through and then I went over it this way too so what I got now is a real strong binding that this cordage can slip through okay and I'll show you why I did that I made two of them for this bag let me get this camera in position so that you can see it better let's see I think that will be right okay so let me move this over here a little bit so the dummy deck has all these holes there's round holes there's big square holes I imagine for attaching accessories but what I was thinking was this. You take this, this cordage on the back of this medium Alex pack. Back here is these little rings. Okay? There's one, there's two of them back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that cordage and I'm just going to push it through just like that, just slide it through each of those rings. They're metal. Those are metal rings. Okay. And you can just let it hang off the side. And what you can do is bring that up through there. And then you slide the cordage through, cinch it down. Okay, and then you don't have to tie some extravagant knot. All you have to do is go like this. Just double the cord over, pull it. You don't even have to like really crank on it. Just pull it into a big old knot. Now it cannot go back through that little hole. There's no way it's going to slide through that little hole. And then I got this one. Do the same thing. Very simple. Now the bag is hanging there and it's not coming off. Even if that thread were to break off, there's going to be weight pulling down on this, so it's going to keep that knot there. I just like the thread there to make sure that this hole is smaller than the knot, but I have used it without having the thread there, just simply looping it over. You can put a little twist in it, do the same thing. But I just like having the thread on it because I, I like I like to sew and work with my hands. So that's not going anywhere. That's 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 on there. I mean that's big fat 550 cord doubled up, and then I can hang one off the other side, keeping all the weight low. But that's my little, and it's very easy to undo. See that comes right off. Even after a while of being on there and bouncing around, it's very simple to get off. Comes right out. But you can make a bunch of these in different lengths, and then you could have them, you know, stored in a bag. They, that's the other good thing I like about cordage. It's easily replaced. You could simply store it in one of the bags on your bike, um, and you would be able to easily replace it in the field. Just cut another piece of cordage, burn the ends, get out a needle and thread, sew it up, and you'd have a new piece. Where plastic clips, you just you have to go so find them somewhere. But that's my little tip for that. Um, ain't been doing much of anything except uh, going to work, riding, uh, trying to exercise more, searching uh, for a better diet. I think I'm going to try the paleo diet because um, I eat far too too much crap. 
I'm just trying to improve my health over the winter. Um, not trying to spend a whole lot of time watching TV or on the internet. Trying to get debt paid down more. Um, just, you know, living my life. So, I hope y'all are had a nice Thanksgiving. I hope y'all have a great Christmas in case I don't make another video by then. Um, shout out to all the boys. Jared D. Bike Man, where are you at? Ain't seen any videos from you. You're over a thousand subscribers now, dude. Where's your videos? What's going on? SE Bike Life, Florida Bikes and Gear. Um, Hobo Cyclist. He's he's blowing up. Watch his videos. He's been touring over in Amsterdam and stuff. He's Andy Andy and Mel. Uh, really cool couple. They're back in New Zealand. Last last I um, saw their videos. Very cool dude. Tour around on folding bikes. Pretty awesome. Do a lot of uh, stealth camping, wild camping. Uh, cook a lot of hobo style meals. Real cool channel. Uh, definitely recommend it. Um, if there's anybody I left out, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just going off the top of my head here. I didn't, didn't make a list. But y'all have a nice Christmas. Happy New Year. Chicago Bike Cowboy. I'm out.